Welcome back. We are on our front porch or front deck and we're gonna do some work to make it nice again. So we've lived on this farm about six years and when we moved in this deck was okay but it I think needed some work six years ago. We're finally getting to a point where we can spruce this deck up. I've already gone on the outside and my daughter and I we stained um, all of the um, railings so we're about halfway done with it um, what I have to do I need to replace some of these deck boards because at some point we kind of gave up on this deck and we had a pet pig living out here which yeah kind of crazy we had an indoor pig that's now an outdoor pig but then we had this um, I guess we had it gated off with some metal gates and guess what the pig um, love the deck, but kind of ruined it. Let me show you some places where our pig destroyed our deck. There's a board that our pig ripped up. Oh, uh, there's another board. Uh, here's a board. There's a board. There's a board. And here's another board. Now, I will say the pig, um chose boards that were already rotting away so um, those boards probably needed to be replaced I'm going to replace those there's about nine boards I need to replace and then we're gonna stain it I've already power washed this um, the, the stain we're using is uh, from the company Valspar um, and it's uh, the semi-transparent stain and it's chocolate chip which I really like it um, you can see a little bit of the wood grain still, but not too much. It's almost a paint, um, but it's pretty cool. So again, our goal, first we want to um, replace these uh, boards, and then we're going to start staining it. And then eventually, this is going to be, sorry, Teddy. This is going to be a pet-free zone, Teddy. Oh, no. That's right. We got chickens over there. We got turkeys. There's our chicken the turkey's eating. But this is going to be at least a dog-free zone. There's Silo. You can see his little tail over there. Um, we're going to put a gate up here. I'm going to make some nice gates using the rhododendron on our property. And this is going to be a place for our baby boy, Corbin, to hang out when he's a little boy. Uh, he's only six and a half weeks old right now, so he's not going to be doing too much as far as crawling around and things like that. But eventually this is going to be his spot as well. And I know we haven't sh shown Corbin in any of the videos, you know, uh, but soon we will. Um, it's just life is busy. Life is busy. So um, let's get to work on pulling some of these boards off. And then if I get lucky, uh, we're going to stain today and at least be done with this part of the project.
it got this big mess cleaned up and I got my stain mixed. It is time to stain. It's a little cloudy, but I tell you what, the weather the last couple weeks, I'm just gonna risk it because it's been so rainy. So hopefully I can get some of this done. Maybe not all of it. Um, this is Valspar stain, uh, chocolate chip transparent or semi-transparent. So you can still see some of the, I guess, wood grain underneath, but uh, let's stain and hopefully we can beat the rain. We're finally done. Let's go ahead and check out the new deck, Reno. Now this is just, you know, it's a process. What I am doing um, next is, well, I'll show you. So first I had to stain all of these rafters and railings. That was kind of a pain in the butt, excuse my language. Um, next I'm gonna build a gate here. Um, it's gonna be made out of just two by fours and just rhododendron harvested on my property. If you've seen my uh, fence, it's gonna look like that, but a little more organized. Um, so let's check it out. Um, this deck we haven't really used in the last two years, believe it or not, because there were so many rotten boards. And then at one point we had a pet pig living out here, um, which is pretty crazy. It lived inside and then it had this during the day. And that really was not a good idea, but he did it. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at it. Um, there's gonna be a gate there eventually. Um, I'm gonna paint our doors again, or my wife will probably do that because she's a little uh, more uh, detail oriented than I am. So I'm sure I'm missing a few spots still. I'm gonna come back in a few hours maybe and look for any final spots, but let's take a quick look. Looking good. I really, really like it. Uh, this is a nice size deck, people. Um, oh, I missed a spot there. I think in this area, I'm probably gonna have a, a table that I think I'm gonna build um, right here in the sun. Um, it's like maybe eventually we'll have some sort of covering here, but we have this nice porch here with a swing. What I really want to do is get some nice outdoor furniture, like a nice lounging couch. I thought about building one, uh, but it would need to be comfortable with cushions on it. A place to, you know, relax and even take a nap, um, chill, read a book. Um, a place for our new baby, which we haven't shown him in any videos, but we will. Um, yeah, just a nice place for the family to all be able to sit. And it's like, you know, heck, it's like maybe we could watch a... A movie or something here I don't know um, but even if I built it myself those uh, cushions are so freaking expensive so I don't think I'm gonna do that I'm just gonna buy one with nice cushions already so until next time I hope you enjoyed this little video of our deck reno and uh, in a future video soon you're gonna see the gates because I've already painted uh, or stained the two by fours that we're using for the gate. So that's like my next project or maybe two projects away. Keep on watching.